Hey guys, hope you're doing well today. What we are going to do is building a React.js search bar without using any third party library for that. So let us start. This is the uh, demo of the project that we are going to build. We have a search input, we have a button, and if I write something in it, it has the autocomplete feature and it shows me the values, for example, A, R, C, H, yeah, you can see, and when you press on it, then the autocomplete text will be replaced inside my input and I can get the result based on of my query. You can use whatever ID that you want. This is a clean uh, React.js project. I just have this app.js file, which is everything that I have. And I have, the, uh, and I have the styles that CSS. I wrote some CSS rules here to make it a little look like better but I don't explain them because it's not purpose of this video and it takes it longer. So you can, after watching this video, go to the source code of it inside the description section and check this stuff and try it out. Okay, uh, here inside my app component, I just added some uh, HTML elements like the search header and another div for container of my search box and another div which I will be adding my search input and the button here, let me do it. Input type should be text and value. So here I need a state to keep my value or my search name better to say. So const uh, value and set value and use state, yeah. The init value can be empty string, and let's have the value here, and the unchange function, I need to write a function for unchange, const unchange, and this one takes the event, and then it tries to get the value of the text box, and put it inside my state. So I should use set value and get it from event.target.value. Yeah, that's it. And let's use the unchange and pass it to the unchange prof of my input element. Yeah, you can see my input element is ready. Let's uh, add my button and uh, unclick event. Here I want to fire a function. Let me name it const on search and it accepts a search term, search term and, and uh, here we can have our API to fetch the search result later if this video can get more than 50 likes then i will be encouraged to make the second episode and do it with real uh, api for fetching the results so i just add a console like here search and the final search term and let me put it here and the search term should be value yeah and here i will have search text as a label of my button and let's close the button tag yeah you can see it is added and if i let me open the console clean everything if i add something here and press the search button, you can see it is working fine. So now it's time to go for the drop-down part. I will be adding it here. The class name should be, it was uh, drop-down, yeah. Drop-down. And here I have a list of my data that I can use for uh, the uh, autocomplete feature. Let's get it from here. I actually did that using the require syntax. I got 
everything from my JSON, data is an array. So let's read the value, data.map, and item. So we can return a div and use a class name, drop down row, drop down row, and close it. And within it, what we are going to have is item that full name. I made a mistake. Yeah. As you can see, I can see a list of all the items that we had, uh, but the problem is uh, it doesn't filter the data based on whatever I put here inside my search box. So here I need another function, which is named filter to filter the result and it accepts a function to check if it is going to pass my filter or not. So I get the item. And I write a function here first, uh, search term. It is going to be value that to lowercase because I want to compare strings. I want to make all of them lowercase to make it easier to compare them. Const full name item dot full name. As you can see here. We have the full name in this syntax. So item that full name dot to lowercase. Yeah. Now let's check if the if if actually this function returns true, the item pass and will be shown here. If false, the item will be filtered. So let's do like if the full name starts with search term then return true. So as you can see, I have all the items here because the search term is empty. So I should check also if the search term exists. So yeah, it's not here also. So for example, A, and if I click on it, it should be added here. So what I'm going to do is add the onClick event I also want to, when the user click on it, it automatically starts searching it. So I call unsearch method and pass the item that full name as the search parameter. Yeah, getting everything. Yeah, if I press it, it is showing here, but I also need to set my state here, set value to search term. So when I click on it, yeah, it is written here, but this one shouldn't be shown if these two texts are exactly the same. So let's filter it as well at another condition here, full name. not equal to search there. So let me check it. Yeah, you can see it is working fine, but I have a very red and bad warning here, which is related to key because we have array of elements in order to help React uh, to re-render re it faster. We better add a key prop here and provide a unique value related to my item. So if I have an ID here, it would be better, but as I don't have ID, I pass the full name. I consider here my full name is unique. So this warning should be removed. Yes, and it is working fine. But the other problem is we have a very long list of results. Let me do something to make it shorter. For example, in YouTube, when you search, you can just see 10 items, not more. So to achieve this, after the filter function, I add another function to limit the size. I'm using the uh, slice function of JavaScript. The first parameter is the start, and the end is, for example, 10 rows. So it will render only the 10 items for me. 
let me check yeah you can see that it is working properly and nicely thank you guys for watching this video for the source code you can reach out to the description and see the source code thank you and if you enjoyed please leave it a like